Hey there. Let's look at how surface rendering mode works in Aura. Let's create a new composition. Create a new solid. Go to effect, rubite, Aura. We have the default settings here. Uh, why was a surface rendering mode even necessary? Uh, let's change it to a mask. Let's create a rectangular mask. Let's select mask one in the path. So why was even a surface rendering more necessary? Here we have a basic Aura animation and Aura is really good at having really high frequency radio wave uh, simulations here. And Let's increase the size a little bit. This works fine. Let's fade out so that it's not so apparent. So this works pretty, pretty okay. But let's add a camera. But this is very much dependent. You can still see the lines, which is fine for a lot of people, but, and this is very much dependent on the frequency. You need really high frequencies, like hundreds, like 200, to really get a solid looking rendering here. And even then you're very dependent on the spin or how, uh, how densely the waves are uh, and the, th the closer they are, the better, more opaque looking thing you'll get. And it is, it is very much dependent on a lot of the wave settings here, like velocity or spin or something. For example, if we crank up the spin, we still, we see the lines again. So to overcome that in some situations, uh, it would be nice if there is a really uh, single uh, solid, like solid rendering mode uh, that covers all the waves. At once. So that is what surface rendering is all about. Now we have a solid surface here that that is rendered all the time. And the advantage of this is since it's a solid surface, you don't need to have such a high frequency. You can probably get away with something a lot lower, like 25, maybe even less like 10. That's a little too less. So let's put it uh, 20. So you have this rendering here that looks opaque and solid and you can still apply all the fades if you want and it'll still look very solid and you don't see any lines. So the surface rendering mode is useful in a certain few situations when you need a dense uh, looking rendering. and. It is not a substitute for line rendering in all the cases, but it can be useful in many uh, situations. Uh, hope you guys like the uh, surface rendering in Aura. Uh, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Thank you.